Welcome back to Daily Planet. I'm Kim Jagtiani. I'm Jay Ingram. On the west coast in Goa, researchers are investigating the health of India's surrounding waters. And they're doing it with the help of a new set of underwater eyes. On the road today, a team from the National Institute of Oceanography in Goa. They're headed to the beach, but it's not a day for surf and sand. They have a special water device in tow, and the beach is the lab where they'll test it. Well, Maya is basically a robot submarine. It works autonomously. That means uh, you have to give it a mission, and it follows it. There are several subs like Maya being developed around the world, but it's a first for this area, known more for tourism and tradition than technology. Goa is traditionally a place where we grew rice and where we had nice small villages and we had lovely seashores and everybody did their own thing. Seeing Maya come from a, from a Goan background is unusual. Unusual, but not surprising, given Goa's proximity and reliance on water for transit, fishing, and leisure. That's why these researchers want to monitor the health of the oceans using autonomous underwater vehicles, or AUVs, like Maya, a sub with three basic parts. One is a nose cone, which is a slender ellipsoid so that it has low drag. It has the scientific sensors on it. Then there's a central unit, which we call the central pressure unit and there's a tail the tail holds the propulsion unit inside are two banks of lithium-ion batteries yeah please execute the self-test one to power the propulsion system the other to power the onboard sensors Maya can be outfitted to measure any number of things they're still testing Maya's navigation and communication systems making sure it can follow instructions and get home safely Okay, mission executed, and AUV started moving toward 150 degree heading over. We are uh, testing on the surface for a waypoint mission. AUV would go to one waypoint, then second and third, making a triangle, and come back to the original position. And second mission would be to do a yo-yo mission. A yo-yo mission is uh, in which the vehicle moves on the surface for some time, then dives to the defined depth, and then come back on the surface. Before each mission, the AUV receives diving instructions. Once it gets the start command, it'll travel the route using GPS to find its way. Uh, okay, doing well so far. Because it's a test, a team rides along to make sure everything's okay. But the AUV is doing everything itself, sending radio frequency signals back to a land post monitoring its progress. Maya's designed to dive as deep as 250 meters. Since it'll operate out of sight, it's programmed to handle obstacles on its own. Like when it can't find a mark it's supposed to hit. We have a timeout method. It would just cut off the propeller and vehicle would start floating up and uh, heading toward the home coordinate. Maya can dive for up to seven hours at a time. It can be deployed from land or sea and it can stay in contact over a long range. Normally, we, when, while we are testing in the sea from the shore, it is two kilometers, but if it is on from the ship, it can be more than 10 kilometers. These researchers used to head out by ship to take their water samples, but that meant frequent stops and lots of lag time. When the ship stops, everybody is waiting for the, for the instrumented packages to go down on the winch. It's time that is lost because you're waiting for data to come up. So we thought, why not have a robot vehicle that could go around the ship and collect data? Ideally, a team of subs would go out at once, covering more ocean faster than a single research boat. And these researchers are working on something to make that even easier. When we started off this project, we thought we'll have something smaller than this, lighter than this, just one of us lifting it and just poof, throwing it into the sea. We started off thinking the AEV should be one meter in length. And at some point of time, it went on and on and on, increased, and it went on to 1.2, which was not bad. Of course, we can improve on it, and we are working on another version. OK, mission successful. OK, sir. Which would surely be re reduced weight and smaller in size. They're already on the road to making that happen, and plan to have the smaller sub out as early as next year.
Stay with us. Coming up on Daily Planet, India's railways get a safety check. And coming up next, how one Indian organization empowers villagers with knowledge.